Dear friends in Christ, we once again give thanks to God for allowing us this opportunity to stand at the table of His Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross so that we who believe in Him may have life and have life eternal. Dear friends, we continue to offer the soul of our loved ones to God as we stand at this table. We remember especially the soul of uh, Father Lawrence Sehal, who will be buried this Thursday. We continue to pray for his sons, his family, and all who are related to him. We give thanks to God for his faithfulness, his dedication, and his humility uh, as he served in the Church of Christ as a priest. Dear friends, in the past we also were praying for a nine years old girl from Kronstadt, Vitino uh, who was missing for a number of days. Unfortunately, as it seems to be the norm, the new culture in our country that when somebody disappears, uh, when the person is found, is found dead. And unfortunately, this young soul, the pillow, was also found with already her body decomposing and so we would like to offer prayers to God for the family that uh, they may be comforted that they may be uplifted and that God may welcome and uh, accept the soul of uh, this little girl Bipino and so we also pray for all the people who have lost their lives in this horrible manner, especially children who are murdered by adults. And so we offer their souls to God. But at the same time, we would like to pray that we become a civilized community, a civilized country, that we do not repay evil with evil. Because we hear that the man who is alleged to have uh, kidnapped and uh, killed this young girl uh, was also brutally murdered by the community. We cannot repay evil with evil. We are as guilty as that man. We cannot repay criminal acts with criminal acts. We are as guilty as criminals if we do that. And so we pray and plead with the community of our country that we need to be civilized and we need to allow the rule of the country to take its course. It should not be an eye for an eye. That's not what God literally meant. That's not what the Bible meant. No, let's leave the authorities to take the cause of the law. And so with broken hearts, we pray for Bipilo's soul, we pray for her family, we pray for her friends, we pray for the community of Kronstadt. We pray for ourselves in this country that we may come to our senses and be friends of Christ who died on the cross so that we may live. And so we don't have to kill anybody or we ourselves don't have to die, but we need to repent. And so we ask for God's forgiveness as we stand at this table. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us. 
We lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks to God and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. He is your living word, through whom you have created all things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh of the Virgin Mary and shared our human nature. He lived and died as one of us to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. In fulfillment of your will, he stretched out his hands in suffering to bring release to those who place their hope in you. And so he won for you a holy people. He chose to bear our griefs and sorrows and to give up his life on the cross that he might shatter the chains of the evil one and punish the darkness of sin and death. By his resurrection, he brings us into the light of your presence. Now, with all creation, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, accept our praise through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on the night he was handed over to suffering and death, took bread and gave you thanks, saying, Take and eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood which is shed for you. When you do this, you do it in memory of me. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his death and resurrection, we bring before you this bread and this cup, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church. Gather into one all who share in these sacred mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit and confirming their faith in the truth that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ. All glory and honor are yours, Father and Son, with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Dataruna Yamahodimo, Divizo Lahao de Hala de Tue, Muso Wahao Aote, Tato Yahao Yetue de Fatsi, Dualo Kai Yetua de Hodimo, Horefe Kajemo Bohobe Taruna, Batsati Leling de Leling, Horetarele Divil Taruna, Dalo Gar Tarela Barisitabon, Osinke Warisa Tuko, Ompe Orele Mubi, Obani Muso Tiwahao, Yemata Nehana, Joane de Kausain Kai. Amen. Ole Borebu Matan Na Hasu Abelana Meli Wakristina. Rona Baurelim Banata, Remele Olimo, Obani Remata, Mohabe Bodebo.
Dear friends, as we approach the table of the Lord, may we find healing at this table. May we find wisdom at this table. May we find protection. May we find comfort at this table. But above all, may we find life at this table. And so, my dear friends, I also forgot or almost forgot to mention that we are also offering the soul of Father Israel Kwanani, who also passed on. Father Israel Kwanani also served in this diocese for some time before he moved to another diocese. And so, as we await the announcement of the arrangement of his burial, we thank God that he was also a long-serving, dedicated, humble, and a soul and servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. May his soul rest in peace. The body of Christ. Amen. For my family, Zanele, Dinkle, Dimpo, my sister who is still not well at all, Monica, the body of Christ. Amen. For all the young people in our church, in our diocese, in our homes, in our communities, in our country as we celebrate the life of young people in our church, the body of Christ. Amen. For all the souls departed from this life, the faithful friends of Christ, for the creation of God in human beings who have left this life for the life of Father Lawrence Sehau, the life of Father Israel Kolani, for the soul of this young girl, a nine years old girl, Ripino, and for the souls of many friends of Christ, the body of Christ. Amen. For all friends of Christ throughout the world, the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. And we say a spiritual communion. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you, from the malicious enemy. Defend me in the hour of my death. Call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. We give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is gracious. God's mercy endures forever. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. In Jesus Christ our Lord, send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit 
to live and work to your praise and glory. So, dear friends, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest and abide in our hearts, rest and abide in our homes, rest and abide with our young people, rest and abide in our churches, rest and abide in our diocese, rest and abide in our country, now and always. Amen. And so, dear friends, stay at home, go to work in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.